here the program of LMFL, Language and Music for Life. Yes. We teach languages as well and it's, I think it's a very important for the students and in general to know another language. It opens up uh, the, the doors to another world, another culture, another thought culture because the language always transports the kind of way the people speaking that language think in their heads. So it helps to understand the other people coming from a different place, how they think, how they act, how they live. Especially for young musicians, they will always meet people from all over the world. They will meet people from Germany, you know, Europe, Africa, Asia, America. So it's quite important for them to know another language. Is it a good place to teach? Yes, it is. I'd say it's one of the best places to teach. It's because all the students here are ambitious. They want to learn something. They're not coming here because they have to, all, all of them come into the classroom, they sit down and they're like, please give us something. So they're really hungry to learn uh, new stuff. And it's nice as a teacher to have students that appreciate what they get. So it's, it's a win-win situation for both. You as a teacher feel quite well because you know that your students actually appreciate what you're doing. And you also see how the students are getting better. You, you see outside how they start talking to other students, how they practice what they just learn in the lesson. And it's a perfect environment. The style of teaching we use here, it's um, especially in English, there are the certificates like the TEFL, the Teaching English as a Foreign Language. And these uh, certificates focus on a practical way of teaching. So it's not like a lot of people are used to learn languages, for example, at school, where you have your book, learn some grammar. A lot of stuff you do in school is just on the paper. We try to use, or what these certificates focus on, is a really is a practical way of teaching. So it's really conversational. It's a lot of talking. Ideal scenario that students don't really realize that they're actually learning. They just talk and talk. And while talking, they pick up new parts of the grammar, of the vocabulary. And at the end of the class, they should be able to use what they've just learned without problems. And if you think back to school, at the time there, you learn something, but you don't really know how to use it. What happens in Germany quite, a lot, quite often is that people have seven, eight, maybe nine years of a foreign language, but not, they're not able to talk at all. Here you have students that never had contact with the foreign language and after two weeks they are able to communicate. Maybe in a simple manner, but they are able to communicate. And from that standpoint, or from that point, they can just move on and learn more. Are the differences between teaching uh, instruments, music or languages? There are some differences, but also a lot of similarities. You have to learn the, the technique. The technique of a language is the pronunciation, the grammar. The, the technique of an instrument is how do you hold it. For example, with the violin, how do you hold the bow? How do you hold the violin? How do you get the, the right tunes? There's also the practical part where you just use the techniques. So there are huge similarities, but in a different way. As a teacher, it's similar because you need to find a way to transfer the knowledge about either the instruments or the language into the head of the student in the best way without the students actually realizing that they're learning something. So they just do it. So I think it might, it might be quite similar. Ein Ratschlag für junge Schüler. Wenn man etwas lernen mö äh, möchte, braucht man Kontakt. Man muss etwas berühren. Darum würde ich empfehlen, kommt, äh, kommt in Kontakt mit Leuten, die Deutsch sprechen. Wenn es auch nur ein bisschen ist, nur eine Begrüßung, Hallo, wie geht's, ist ein, ein großer Schritt. Sprachen sind etwas Lebendiges und das äh, lernt man am besten in einem lebendigen Umfeld. Das heißt, mit Menschen, die es sprechen und das ist der beste Weg. Uh, it's just about finding a way to communicate. So communication is more important than have a perfect grammar. That's always the conflict. Uh, what schools try to teach is more a, a perfect grammar, as a how to speak a language perfectly. But what students actually have to learn is communication, how to speak. And then it's not important to speak 100% correct, but it's important to speak, to do it. And that's the only advice I can give. Just try it.